Hi everybody, Martha here from Visionary Center for the Performing Arts. I'm so excited that we have Emily Levine here tonight. So Emily, take it away. Hello, and thank you so much for having me. My name's Emily Levine, and if you're looking for me on Instagram, it's at emilydrew.music. Um, the first thing I'm gonna be singing for you guys is Hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees. And one of the first times I ever performed this song, I was actually with Visionary uh, a few years ago at the rec room in Edmonton singing it, and I posted a clip of it on Instagram, and actually the Plain White Tees liked the post, which is super, super cool for me. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, the Plain White Tees actually wrote this song. So yeah. that's amazing, what <laughs> a big compliment. Cool. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm gonna be playing that for you. That was Hey There Delilah. So, awesome. And the next song I'm going to be playing for you guys is actually a song that I wrote, I believe, two years ago, maybe last year. It's called Playground. It's probably one of my favorite songs that I've ever written. So here you go. Take my hand and don't ever drop it Your words punch through me like a rocket You had me thinking all this time that we lost it Just take my hand and don't ever drop it Tell me face to face that you mean it I wish that after all this time you could see it I know we've made some messes but we can clean it Just tell me face to face that you mean it so daily flipped over upside down your voice in my head turned up all the way until it's too loud it's so confusing can't tell if i am lost or found it's like i'm eight years old stumbling on the playground we're going round This is all in my head. 
So that was an original song I wrote called Playground. You can also find that on my YouTube. Um, and the next song I'll be playing for you guys is one of my favorite songs to play at gigs. And it's just so fun. And it's called My Body by Young the Giant. Stop the train. And <laughs> the next song I'm going to be playing is an older song, but also an excellent song, How Will I Know by Whitney Houston, which is actually Martha's idea. <laughs> but I have a little acoustic kind of cover, kind of making it my own there, and it's really fun to play, so I hope you enjoy. There's a boy I know, he's the one I dream. Into my eyes takes me to the clouds above. Oh, I lose control, can't seem to get enough. If I wake from dreaming, tell me, is it? 
shaking wish i had you near me now oh there's no mistaking what i feel is really love oh tell me how will i know And then for our final song of the night, um, I will be singing an original that I actually wrote very, very recently. And it's all about spring and have been feeling lately and it's called One Blooming Flower. So finally peaceful this time of the year Even with everyone screaming bird chirps are all I hear And it was until just now when I understood That when you let it all melt off you can do all you thought you Bye. 
That one was that called was One so Way Fun. Awesome. Thank you so much. So um, just for those of you who, are, who don't know, Emily is graduating from high school this year. And we're doing a special feature this month for our high school grads because the graduating class of 2021 uh, won't be having a big um, celebration, but we want to celebrate you all, yeah. <laughs> all the class of 2021. Mm -hmm. So um, Emily, what are your... Um, so some, what are your, some of your best memories at uh, Visionary? Oh my gosh, I've been here for such a long time. It's been like about six years. Um, I've just loved all the opportunities I've had to perform solo and with other people. I did a duet with Samantha Wilson a few years ago where we did um, Stepsisters Lament, which was so funny and so fun to do. I love like performing in Futures Fest and all the little things that I got to do were all so, so amazing. Yeah. Cool. So who are your major influences in music, would you say, artists? Um, I'm a really, really big fan of Taylor Swift. Uh -huh. um, she's so inspiring to me. We don't have all the same. I think uh, my style is kind of like hers, and I love the way she songwrites, but I'm not quite as like in the country style as her. Um, I really love, love, love her music. And growing up, my mom l like listened to a lot of like alternative bands, and I feel like that definitely influenced me a bit, like Mumford and Sons and that kind of stuff. I love all that stuff. So yeah. yeah. Um, so what are your plans? How do you, uh, you get you're finished at the end of the month here? Uh, well, in August, uh, late August, I'll be moving to Vancouver to attend UBC oh. for a Bachelor of Arts, which I'm so, so, so excited about, although I'll miss you guys so much. Oh, <laughs> and we're going to miss you, too. We're mm -hmm. going to miss you, too. So um, what, um, like what's, your, what's your dream, like your long-term <laughs> dream? Um, I just, I really just, wherever I am, I just want to be doing music at least a little bit it has to be in my life i really want to actually go into music therapy that's my goal um but i i don't i never want to stop songwriting and producing and um performing all the time so basically. you started producing this just this past year right? yeah yeah so mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your producing that's been uh, it's been a journey <laughs> um i got the logic pro software which is excellent and will has been helping me a lot he knows lots about um logic and it's just been really cool getting to kind of learn it, especially being at home so much recently, being a, like having the time to just go through all the YouTube tutorials and learn all these cool tricks that I can do and make professional sounding music. It's super awesome. That's great, wonderful. Okay, so do you have any advice for up and coming um, singer songwriters that are, you know, <laughs> through the... Um, I would say just don't, don't be too hard on yourself. I think um, that's something that I wish I, I wish I wasn't as hard on myself when I was a kid. I think it's so important when you're doing music to allow yourself to fail and allow yourself to keep growing because that's the beauty of it is you just keep growing and growing and growing. And I feel like, especially with songwriting, it's so hard It's so um, hard to not, to when you're songwriting, you just, you want every single song to be perfect. And it's so, it's so hard because um, you have to just let yourself write songs that you don't love and just keep practicing and practicing and until you love something. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Okay, well, thank you so much and congratulations, Emily, on graduating and we're gonna miss you in BC. Thank you so much. And we much. hope you stop in sometimes and we'll see so. you on Instagram and all that good stuff and hear mm. your music. And uh, thank you everybody for joining us. And yeah. that was Emily Levine. And Emily, tell them what your um, handle is on Instagram so uh, they can find your music. <laughs> It's emilydrew.music, and yeah, thank you guys so much for having Thanks me, for and thank you so much for watching. Thank you. <laughs>